locked. Uh, and if it's not, depending on the weight of the door and the weight of the dino, you can actually push the door if it's not locked. And if it's if it's like semi-open, you can just push the door. And we're still testing it, but it's a pretty cool concept. That so yeah. Yes. Um. Hi. Sorry, I have a question. Um, I'm really new to 3D, and I'm kind of wondering, uh, when you're making, like, the topology of these, like, objects, do you have to, like, take anything into consideration when working on them? Absolutely. Especially with these kits. Uh, so kits are different from regular props, because in regular props, uh, you don't... You have to think ahead of it, but uh, usually... After the high poly stage, you just retopo it the best you can, uh, as in the way that takes the less triangles you want. So reduce it. But in in the matter of these kits, I have to really consider to use absolute minimum of triangles. And why is that? Because you can stack these by hundreds, and it, they probably will be stacked in hundreds. Uh, and the second thing you have to consider is the UVs. What are you doing? Okay. Uh, so since they'll be stacked quite literally, uh, you have to think in UV terms as well. So what I do is you make a trim sheet like this, which pretty much gives you the ability to tile stuff just in one direction, which in this case is X. And then you can have, uh, you can cut the face here map it here and you have pretty much a textured mesh but you can't go overboard as well with this because each cut face is an extra vertice which is not shown here but when you stack objects it really grimes up the number uh, so this is all you have to like think far far ahead so when i was designing this in my head i really had to think is this even acceptable as in should this be literally flat to reduce it uh, but since computers are quite strong now and we have the ability of LEDs pretty much at the first LED I'll just remove these these faces behind and we already have the optimized way of dealing with these large groups of objects so like I've seen on the handrails um they're basically like a six-sided thing but they have like rounded edges on some parts um how do you reduce the topology by and keep that level of detail in with the rounded edges so again lod's are pretty much what saves the thing mm -hmm. um but basically this is not round this is a cube mm -hmm. you can see it here Come on, hide okay oh, okay doesn't want to hide so i'll delete you uh so this is actually a cube but you can uh, fake rounded edges with these stuff if they're small enough. So basically, even with cylinders, you use as much is basically visible to the naked eye. So if it's quite huge, you'll see it's literally a cube. But in terms of this, you can just smooth it up the normals and it will feel like it's a cylinder. And you can even do this with a triangle. Which is quite cool but again it has to be a small rail so we get a cube you can remove this face we we'll cut this face we'll circle this so it's even on all sides and if we reduce it enough wait it's reducing since i'm using the wrong axis okay so if we reduce this small enough and let's apply the metal to it which is like this. No, I'm wrong. This. Come on, close. Okay. We'll map this out. Let's cut it here. Rotate it. Delete these faces because they're not necessary. Put the metal here. And now it looks blocky. But if you remove the sharpness of it, so I remove the sharpness and you increase the normal bending. You can get a pretty much circular shape until you get really up close. But it, it bends the normal in a way that it seems like it's circular. And that's pretty much the hacks to do to save on vertices and stuff like that. But yeah, that's how you go about doing these stuff.
same with here it's cube i have added just small bevels here which i can remove literally by click of a button and at a distance you won't like at that distance you won't notice that much of a difference as you can see we have this kit we have uh we're doing some edits on the perimeter fences which i can't show yet uh, and actually show you like the building let's say the huge hangar bay this is pretty much the process you make a house you export it here and then you do this absolutely pain in the ass but it's necessary beautiful uv which helps you bake all of the damages and cool stuff to it that's pretty much it uh, and this has to be uv's almost perfectly why because we have a lot of vertices at the LED one, which is cool. It's close up. Uh, but as you get to LED two, which I'll show right now, we can actually crease almost everything to be flat. So this is flat now. Still using the same thing, but we've reduced it from. So we're at nine thousand triangles, and we were at the base. Come on. No software is working correctly today. And we are so from 30,000 triangles to 9,000, it's quite a leap. And that's pretty much what we do, uh, at least with the billing. We save them, bake them, heavily optimize them. Then they're one material, and voila, we have a very optimized mesh ready to ship. And then at the last LOD, which is like the overkill, we have only 4,000 triangles. And then after that, there goes hierarchical load, which literally makes it a thousand maximum triangles. It's pretty much how it goes game wise. So, it's all quite fluid when you get the hang of it. So, it's nothing too hard to learn, I guess. But, uh, you make one mistake at this process, you pretty much have to do over from LOD zero. So yeah, no changing the UV once you start painting it. Uh, yeah, that's that's the buildings. We have batches. Uh, and currently the hangers are being done. I think this is the only hanger that's not done. The large one fully. I think it just has one LOD. Yeah. One LOD. And same thing with them. You make, you export the thing, and then you have the finished filling like this. And it's pretty much flat. Almost no triangles and vertices where they don't have to be. And even this is flat. So this whole rigid area, which if you're up close, it has a lot of vertices to make it look quite good. But on the LED, it's literally gone. But at the distance, you don't notice it. And you didn't. And I'll show it actually. Let's actually go to my level. Showcase the beauty of LODs done properly. Okay, so let's grab actually the huge one. Uh, so as you can see, there's a lot of like detail on these edges and stuff like that. But the LOD, hope it's important. The LOD, it's flat. Uh, and from this distance, you pretty much don't see it if it's done correctly. Only the shadows change, but that's the lighting thing. But it's very minimal on the changes if you ignore the shadows. You can show it mostly here. If it's all correct, yeah, almost no difference. And we've saved like hundreds and hundreds. Yeah. Uh, question with the door pushing. Would wind affect how the door moves? Like, say the door was left open, would it ever shut again automatically, or will it stay open? Uh, well, currently, there are heavy doors. <laughs> so we don't know if we will even allow yeah. it to affect it. I mean, like, future-wise, weak doors. It would be a cool addition. That would be. But uh, we have to see how the wind, since wind is simulated partially, we would have to see yeah. how it affect and which areas would it affect because like if we have the whole world and the wind is set to blow in one direction the simulating of the doors for a multiplayer game for all the doors to be responding to that wind is quite intensive so yeah same yeah i get you, i get you. 
Same yeah. With... yeah. Okay. Thanks. Yeah. No problem. It's just like with the destruction, just simulating, like going through a wall. It's quite extensive. Uh, and I've yet to see in many games doing such such type of damages where you see the damage as well. What we can do is simulate the edge damage, uh, but that's another topic of itself because it would be client side mostly with the animations and where the pieces would be as they would not affect the player or anything. But going yeah. through walls, hard. I just don't see it in the near future at least since it's super complicated this thing and yeah that's pretty much it what i got the showcase for this time uh when i really get the time and i guess when we roll up the update when it gets a bit more leisure we'll stream more uh, we'll stream more hopefully a few of us but i know i'll try that's pretty much my goal so hopefully uh i got that keypad there if we can put something interesting here as well without being really stupid for that being there to make some sort of sense no pipes no boxes no actual electrical box would fit for this type of door why not well i'm glad i can show it i mean it's it's a blast yeah. with the community just showcasing how it's done like when I textured this, I purposely made this a bit darker and added slight yeah. emission. And then you get a feel like it's water inside, especially where there's Whoa. light. Uh, you can see it like this. Now the yeah. emission is a bit killing it. Mm -hmm. But there, there's this slight tint, just, just so it seems like there's water. In it. But yeah, the yeah. emission occlusion is killing the effect I wanted to show. But yeah, these are like the as we go. Jinko. Sorry, what? It's really time consuming though, like putting all these bills together. Although it's worth it, that's for sure. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's fun. I I, I agree it's time consuming yeah. a lot. But it's for me it's yeah. a blast. I, I can't complain really. We need light. So let's grab this light. Put them here. Come on. Bear with me, light. Need to make a smaller light. I would like to do like this, but this looks like shit. Looks like shit. We'll just have to roll with these until I make new ones. Let's add the small one, scale it as it was with one, and let's just duplicate it. Make sure it's centered. Okay, and then we'll add a floodlight. Blood, blood light here to this side, and come on. And that will shine on the good. <laughs> and that will hopefully shine onto. Actually, we can use the blueprint itself. Art, blueprint, light. Let's add a real light to this. So we know how it looks properly. We have to delete this. I'll show a bit of weather. I'll show a bit of weather. Fine. So let's make it foggy. Hey. Make it foggy. Ooh. It looks really, really nice. Let's That's so good. Make it night. I think 200. Like oh, that's scary, man. That's like a horror movie. Super. Damn, you guys over, you guys outdone yourself. Holy shit. Yeah. Now you just is... need to be human with a flashlight. Oh, that's where yeah. you gotta be, man. That's that's perfect horror movie. <laughs> this game is this game go this game is going go, just going places. And then when Gore comes out too, oh my god. Imagine you're just looking for supplies as a human, and you just get jump scared by raptors. Yeah, 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 that'd be so cool. Pretty, pretty much, long. yeah. <laughs> you're just like, oh, look, I've got yeah. a flashlight, turn it on, wrapped it in front yeah. of your face. 
if we had flickering as yeah. it should be with both the human and uh and the, like the atmosphere light with these stuff it will be super creepy i think but yeah this is it uh just the light <laughs> details are you just detail a few things and it looks like insane thank you beyond insane yes there's so much people that I play the game with. Sometimes in Legacy, they're like, "Oh, it takes so long." I'm like, "What do you mean long? Give... It's better to let them take time than to rush it." Then you exactly. get exactly, exactly. Like I, I'm like, I and can then... wait another five years for this game to get like more dinosaurs. I don't care. I just want this game to work and be absolutely beautiful. If you run mm. the game. <laughs> I just want to be hunted down when I'm a human. I just like it. Yeah. Oh, I can't um, wait for that, many too. Chance. Like, we'd, so, like, we had a beta branch for the humans, but is it shot down now? Yeah, will, does that, will it be will it coming be... to the main branch anytime soon or not? Uh, are, are when the update comes, though? when the update comes, I think humans will be, again. Oh, update five. Yeah, I think it, they will be some part of it. Like, you can branch. enable them. Yeah. I, I, I kind of had a Yay. laugh when I saw the new model for like the tribals. They look so mm. derpy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, would the humans be in the official servers already? Or do you have to get a certain unofficial servers to like. I can't them? say how this will pan out because to be honest, I don't know. Don't know. Uh, all right. To survive yeah but with update five they'll still be pretty basic right like yeah. they're not gonna have guns yet mm, and like... guns no guns no because... but would they would they have bows at least or like i don't know sticks knives Thanks. anything <laughs> just the point <laughs> <laughs> it's a, a t-rex comes and you like throw a stick die <laughs> Oh shit, I gotta yeah, that be just came off in my head. for a minute, be right back. I, I, I want you to be able to climb on you when you're like a stagger, you're just laying on the ground and you just, yeah. crawl, you just crouch on your back and like, let's go! <laughs> Especially as the uh, Tyrannodon, think... because there's like, there's like big it's... mountains with like ledges, can you build your nest there? That would be pretty cool. I won't say anything yeah. about the nesting, you will I see. I can't wait for climbing uh, though, I can't wait I know, for like hipsy I climbing. know, but I can't speak. <laughs> yeah, but I, I'm like, I'm like, it's yeah, not yeah. unfair as a Tyrannodon, you can build your nest like on a like all the way in the air, like on the big rock, and nobody can reach it. Got to be quiet. But then make it that baby potatoes <laughs> have like baby potatoes need flight lessons. I want, I want Gally. I just want to steal people's eggs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> on the rock. Yeah, I can't just... tell Serato will be next huh? playable or not because mm. it looks pretty ready for update five. Mm. <laughs> I mean, oh, I mean, oh, they, oh, they, it's they, it's they were gonna add it. They I'm said it was next playable. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but they they already said they were gonna add it. that with somewhere with the update with uh colors. I think we're aiming pretty much uh for all of them, like all of the dinosaurs, to be viable. As in, do not feel underpowered or that you can't trick and escape. Or underpowered like Stego. Yeah. Stego is pretty scary in Everywhere. Even, yeah, I think even a legacy, but legacy, honestly. it was the turn that literally just world was just absolutely insane. Yes. <laughs> well, maybe yes, you tell you, for you. you. Yeah, sure. Did. How do you keep the light glowing from behind the wall? Yeah, I'm thinking how to <laughs> prevent it as <laughs> much as I can, like this. Yeah. See, this is quite minimal. I can live with this. You have to I can live with this. Away from the... Do you not have to? Uh... It's stupid. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, is there no way yeah, to actually annoying. make sure it doesn't go through solid objects? That's Shadow's mm -hmm. doing, but what Shadow does, it increases the draw so much. So we're using Shadow's, like, with this, for example. Mm -hmm. And even this Shadow is made to, like, disappear at some distance. Mm -hmm. and, uh, it doesn't so, <laughs> yeah, no, no, actually, this is a new light. But this light, which is a blueprint, mm -hmm. uh, this disappears with distance. And this will be set up to disappear with distance, but using shadows here with point lights, first of all, we do not support it because it has to project in all directions. But spotlight is pretty much maximum of 180 angle. Yeah. 
just like this, so we can live with this. Uh, Other than shine behind it. Yeah, so you get this like nice sharp shadows. Uh, but point lights, no, they're they're evil. They're quite evil, honestly. They seem pretty <laughs> tough. Evil red light. My biggest enemy. <laughs> <laughs> it's still too strong, so let's get to lumens and let's get to very little, like twenty. Five. Actually, too little. That's unfortunate. It looks really nice when it's brighter. I know, but yeah. not be too distracting at the same time. Right. Sometimes I just like stand in front of a red light and look at it all day like a fly, just like going. <laughs> Don't want to. Oh you god, red light anyone. district. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah, like, <laughs> I think the IL art and like the three D modeling is just the best thing in the game at all. Oh my god, look at that just tower. That's amazing. Oh wow. Oh, imagine Still, if you can use the lights on it. Like you can move around the big lights on it when you're shining on the forest. Yeah. Honestly, that's what the owl needs. Being able to move human structures as a dinosaur. Yeah. yeah. Now imagine you're sitting on that tower and then you just see yeah. in the forest a herd of brachies coming down your way. Hey, you oh, see the God. light like that? You're just moving yeah. around? That will be so oh, cool. stuck up there. There are raptors below you and you can't get down. <laughs> <laughs> you're just sitting there with your sniper rifle with two bullets. Or just <laughs> predators just coming and picking at you. <laughs> one by one. Oh my god, no, I gotta imagine human. you're just sitting there, you just get absolutely <laughs> murdered by a swarm of uh, Tyrannodons. There's no windows in housing anymore. So Why not? That, ever be if someone house? changed the name of the folder, you can't have Windows folder in the game. I did it not. I did not know that. Uh, yeah, it's broken. Will there, uh, will there ever be a function to control the lights on and off? Um, That'd be so cool. I don't know. Going to be, that would be a cool addition, yeah. That's probably going to be a thing when you're you and you have to rebuild bases with other players. Oh my gosh. Okay, folks. It was nice talking to you. I got a roll. You too. Bye. Right. See you later. Thank, thank you for showing some Here of your amazing go. work. Yeah. Yeah, thank you so much. It's amazing. Keep up the no. effort. Update 5 2. <laughs> no problem. Cheers, guys. Thank you, sir. Have a good Cheers. Bye. Bye.